Hello guys, thanks for watching, Adrian here from Appsid. So in this video I will say a few words about the um, latest updates we've made on uh, Django Soft Devable Pro. Now the product comes with an enhanced uh, data table module. Also we did some changes on charts uh, to add these filters. A data tables module is here. Uh, we have an API of course powered by uh, DRF. So basically the information that it's saved in the, in the sales model. Let me access the repository. Okay, so the information is saved here in uh, apps. We need to go to, to common and we have here in the models, we have the sales model where all the information is saved like product, buyer ID, purchase date and all other things that, um, that are visible here on the data tables, buyer purchase date. So um, this information saved in, uh, in the sales model uh, is managed in in different ways. The, um, data tables provide a paginated uh, view of the of the information. Charts um, provide the visual access to the to the um, to the information in two ways, using a, a traditional pie pie chart and also bar chart. And uh, through the API, we can uh, also manage the information like update. Um, delete and uh, and also add new rows. Of course, we can view all the all the items. Right now, we can uh, we can see all items, or simply we can put here the ID ID one. Sorry, ID one, and we will see only a single item. So, uh, in order to interact with the with the starter. Uh, we need to authenticate, you need to go here to sign in. There is a default user and also an admin, uh, admin user. Uh, but uh, to edit the data tables and see the effects in the charts, uh, you can simply use the default account. Of course, you can use your, uh, you, you can create your own account, but uh, uh, at um, daily, I think uh, the database is uh, reset it to the, to the default values. So your account will be will be wiped. Okay, let's go to the data tables. I put here, let's say you ten rows. We have here the the pagination. Uh, an important aspect is that um, once you um, the information is uh, uses server side pagination, which is important. Where when you have a lot of uh, items in the database, let's say. 1 million for 1 million items, uh, the, um, the response time should be super, super fast. It's not, like, uh, it's not the case for the um, um, pagination that is made on the client side, uh, usually done by um, traditional uh, JavaScript libraries, where all the rows are, are pulled on the client side. And um, this, this scenario works well, works well for uh, small data sets like um, uh, hundreds of records but if you have millions or something the browser might uh, might not be so responsive so um, let's uh, log out again to see a difference in the data table if you go to the, to the data table here uh, you can see that uh, for a guest user you have only the the view option and once we authenticate and go back to the data table, we have the delete row and also the, the edit here. Let's uh, add a new row, let's say Nike, why uh, smoke at apps.us. We can put here the, the current date, keep the current date, the initial value, or we can put it, uh, put another value, country USA. Price, let's put this price, refund it, yes, no, I'll keep the default version, a default value. USD, you can also switch between USD and Euros, and uh, it uh, is saved. Okay, we have here the, the new row, let's delete this one. Okay, if we go back here, we can see the, um, uh, the charts are, are showing the, um, the sales for each for each day uh, and also we have the same uh, the same information here presented as a as a pie chart in the in the ui in the api node we should see the um, this new row okay so basically is this one let's go back and uh, update the, um, the information 
updated updated okay the information is updated if we refresh here we can see the the API um, manages the, the same information and is as I said before is linked to the same uh, sales model so for those uh, that um, find this product useful um, feel free to take a look at the pricing uh, the product is uh, under the summer summer boost campaign it's, uh, it has a nine, uh, nice discount and uh, also on, on top of this you can easily deploy the project on every every cloud provider all uh, all cl well-known cl cloud providers because the product comes with um, um, comes with uh, Docker scripts. You can uh, easily deploy it on AWS. And also uh, during this video, I will demonstrate how to how to deploy the product on Render, which uh, is a super super nice uh, deployment platform that we are using in Tesla for for our um, uh, for our deployments. Let's uh, use this. Deploy. I will create the, I will duplicate the repository. Okay. Once duplicated, go here to the render and uh, update this name the name of the service because this is the name of the subdomain that render will use to to deploy the application i'll go to the render for now you need to go here to to the blueprint area and uh, create a new blueprint drop here the legit uh, repository put here a name and just hit the deploy button from this point we need to to wait a bit the product will be deployed on bojango so deploy dot on render dot com but uh, we need to to wait to uh, for this operation to to complete to to be completed all the steps are executed if we go back to the source code uh, the steps are saved in build.sh so uh, we can check out here that uh, the modules are installed um, pip is uh, upgraded we collect the um, static statics for the application migrate the database and in the end uh, the application should be up and running once the product is deployed, uh, it's important to know that we this repository is basically linked with render through this uh, CI CD flow. So basically, when you update the product, the the change uh, the changes will be automatically reflected in the in the deployment. So you don't need to spend time with the server configurations, other things. You just push it to to live and uh, you can access the the service and share it with uh, with your users i think we are almost done and uh, soon we will uh, be able to to access the the product in the browser so we we can see here the product is uh, is flagged as being live let's take a look and we should see the Django soft pro up and running with all the all the features available so guys we provide this for all our um, all our products free and premium also um, all products being dockerized uh, is quite easy to 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 deploy the all products on aws digital ocean or azure but uh, some some small configuration might be might be might be required um, in all cases if you have an issue with the product free or pro um, go here to appseed click on the support and we we have here the official the official support email 
and also we have um, quite a nice uh, quite a nice community discord community with more than 1000 members uh, that we can uh, we can interact so thanks again for watching tell us what you think about the product and uh, we are super super glad to help bye guys